Hello, I'm Cedric Kennedy, a.k.a. The Atheist Dragon. I presented my origins of how I became an atheist. Since that story is done, it's time for longevity beyond Heba. This is In the Eye of the Atheist Dragon. Okay, so the question is, what makes an atheist an atheist? It's simple. No belief in God. No religion. That's it. An atheist does not subscribe to the belief of a god or gods, and they do not have a religion. They do not have something that they go to worship, practice, and the no true atheist thing. They don't have any of that. An atheist just simply does not hold a religion, does not believe in God or a god. It is that simple. So, and this, when I was growing up, even until the early 2000s, the religious people, their church, their pastors, their preachers, their deacons, their parents, their siblings, all regurgitated information on what? Atheists don't have religion, therefore they don't have Jesus or God, therefore they are evil. That is still being preached and taught today it's nothing hardwired it's just bundled with the package you subscribe to you have a religion you believe in God you go to church you believe in everything there including that atheist no matter all the positive stuff that some do because there are some jackweed atheists atheist doesn't have a moral obligation or any of that stuff it's just like any religious person Christian or anything thereof you've got some good you've got some bad you've got some jacked up you've got some confused and you've got the misunderstood what the problem is are atheists that fail to do the one thing that any atheist must do in the face of a religion and religions that do all that they can to destroy an atheist. In other words, what keeps members of the religion from leaving, basically, that's it. All right. When someone challenges an atheist on one simple thing, and that is your atheism is a religion, that is the only time an atheist need to actually fight back. That's the only time an atheist needs to actually stand up and say, whoa, I'm an atheist. I'm not religious. Atheism or an atheist has nothing to do with religion or a God. So don't go there because that's a falsehood. Your belief is not the reality. And that's simple. And just to give you a good standard and point of how atheists fail in this, I'm going to use objectively Dan on truth wanted and I'm gonna give I'm, I let, I'm gonna let this whole little segment go um, not the call but you know give the person give uh, uh, Dan a chance to rebuke the claim of atheism is a religion alright <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do so here goes and which experts do you mean like because you know, when I well, think of... when I talk about DNA, I'm talking about the expert like Richard Dawkins and other experts like that that say that DNA looks to be designed, but they don't know why. Well, you know, and then there's also experts that on the moon and astronomer uh, astrology experts that say that the moon looks to be designed, but they don't know why. Well, you do, uh, you do know Richard Dawkins is an atheist. I do, I do, but I don't care about his religious beliefs. I just care about what he, what he knows well, about well, DNA. Well, okay. That's what he's saying is that it looks designed, it, and he doesn't know why. You know, if he is an expert, don't you think his opinion on his beliefs on 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 what he's seeing might matter? But I'm only pointing this out because you know something can look apparently designed, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is designed, right? Can we think of some examples of of maybe that would be the case? Um, you know, maybe um, uh, snowflakes. You know, they're very intricate. Well, I'm, I would like I don't... for you to, if you think that. So that was full context. So he had plenty of time to interrupt and say, hey, not true. Don't do that. 
you know, you were taught and trained in your church or whatnot to say that you can't sit there and espouse and proclaim something that is factually not true. You can't do that. That because that means you are lying. And isn't that one of the commandments? Thou shalt not lie. You know, and you know, well, I'm not lying. I'm just saying what they told me. OK, now they're lying. So the ones that have more authority than you are lying and lying to you. Why in the world would you even follow that person? You know, so I mean, really. And so while people sit here and not challenge those claims, not challenge that, you know what that does? That legitimately emboldens people of religion to say, well, I was it is a religion. They, they said they didn't say anything against it. And I can't even find fault with them if they do that. Well, you know what? Objectively, Dan didn't say anything against it. You know, I mean, you know, his, you know, his co-host had nothing to say. So, you know, it makes sense. They could have refuted. They could have rebuked it. They could have done anything, but they didn't. They sat there and let it ride. And that is how atheists fail. That's really it. The only way an atheist can fail is not literally set people straight when they lie about an atheist. That's it. The only thing an atheist is, is someone that doesn't hold a religion, is someone that does not subscribe to the belief of a god or any gods. That's it. I mean, that's it, full stop. There's, there's no tacking on anything else to it. It ends right there. So if you go beyond simply no religion, no god, then you're lying. And, you know, you're being full of crap at that moment. So atheists out there that might happen to hear this, hey, stand up and make sure you tell the truth, you know? And if you're a religious person listening, you need to stop. Stop letting religious people get away with lies. Stop the special pleading. You have an obligation under yourself as you always complain that people lie, atheists are full of lies and they worship the devil, so that you must, by that definition, not do the same. You have to go to your religious comrades and say, hey, stop saying that. It's not true. They don't have a religion. You got to tell the truth. If you are religious, you believe in God, you worship God and all that stuff, you have to tell the truth. You know, and if you think the truth is that you know, atheists do have a religion that they that it is a religion from some other gym, mental gymnastic thing. Then you have to question this: Why in the hell? And you know, up until only recently, atheists, by the definition of every preacher out there that was demonizing it, just so they could gaslight their congregation, why would they say that they don't have religion? They don't have God. You have to ask that. There's no room for cognitive dissonance. You can't say, I hate peanut butter one day, and then the next day say, oh, I love it. I've always eaten it. It's like, what? It used to make you puke. You threw it up all the time. It's like, no, no, I love it. It's great. And then you give it to them, and then they just let it sit there. And it was like, you know what? Well, I said it, but I mean, you know, I'm not going to eat it. You don't, come on. That exploits a lot of stupidity on either side. Atheist, religious, it don't matter. It's stupid. If the truth shall set you free, then get out of your cage. And if you need to, look in the eye of the atheist dragon. I'll set you straight as well. This is Cedric Kennedy for In the Eye of the Atheist Dragon. Thank you for listening.